Hey, Mr. Goodman. How are you? Agent Sullivan. How are you doing? Not bad. Not bad. Listen, uh, I'm gonna cut to the chase here. We need your help. I tried to give it to you before, and you never listened. And I'm sorry, Mr. Goodman. I really am. But right now, I need you to talk to Erica. She... She can do what the rest of us couldn't. Trust me when I say that. Just give her a chance, will you? I'll talk to her, Agent Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. Goodman. I wish I could have done more back then. He's all yours. That was... Thank you. So will you help me now, Mr. Goodman? Call me Robert. Thank you. Your wife, Sarah. Beautiful woman. Very kind. She didn't deserve what happened to her. You don't believe she committed suicide? I didn't believe it was possible at the time. There's new information, and... I've spent a long time trying to convince you people she hadn't killed herself. But that was such a long time ago. Sir? I'm a firm believer that it's never too late for justice. We may have made a terrible mistake. Yeah, tell that to Agent Davies and Agent McAdams. Are they listening? Agent, those still are very painful memories to me. I'll help you. But I don't see the point in all of this anymore. Sarah is gone, and that's something that will never change. Did you or your wife have any enemies? Anyone who might have wanted to kill her? You already have all that information in your case files. Do you have any new information or not? I don't have a reason to... This is not going to work with this. I don't have a re- Do you know this man? That's horrible. Why are you showing this to me? Trust me, I wouldn't show you if I didn't need to. We found him dead last night. Wait. That's... I do know that man. Do you know his name? Yes, of course. He... Uh, I don't... I don't remember. Anything that you can help with. Where do you know him from? Anything? I'm sorry, Agent. I just... I don't remember. That won't work there. Zoe! Ugh. That won't work there. Robert, please. I'm sorry, Agent. I don't have a reason to do that now. This necklace. My lord. I haven't seen that thing in ages. It belonged to my wife. May I? It was an anniversary gift. Where did you find it? I visited her grave. I used to do that, religiously, day after day, and until I just stopped. It's a thing of beauty, just like she was.
Robert. I'm sorry. Hmm. That won't work there. This is not going to work with this. I don't have a reason. This is not going to work with this. That won't work there. Robert. I'm sorry. What about the tattoo? Those two don't work together. <sighs> I have to get as much... Those two don't work together. Alright, thank you. Um, there's nothing else. That won't work there. Robert, please stay. Don't take long. Sully? Erica? He's having trouble remembering stuff. The guy went a little nuts. It's no wonder he can't remember. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Jared. Wow, that was so helpful. <sighs> Fuck. No, that's not right. All right, just like Rose taught me. I need to get closer. Robert? I need you to think back and look for the name of this man in the picture. I'm trying. I'm remembering the last time I met with my wife. He came up in that conversation. I just can't remember well. The details are... Uh, Robert, please try to think back to that moment. Have you ever lost someone you love, Agent? If you want to hold on to the memories for as long as you can, but they dissipate through the years. And then all you're left with are the fragments, small moments. I've tried for too long to hold on to a ghost, and it didn't get me anywhere. Now I don't want to remember. Robert, I know exactly what it is to lose someone you love. I lost my brother to a murderer. And I know what it is to chase ghosts, too. But there is a real chance here that if you're right, if your wife was indeed murdered, we may find this person. So please, help us. It was the last time we met. We were at a train station. I was about to leave on a business trip again. Sarah was sad. She didn't want me to go. She hated this town. I can't make anything out of this. My visions are too confused. Maybe I should pay Rose a visit. Are you kidding me? I 
I can't. I can't. Robert, please stay. Don't take long. Two. Don't I have another piece? Hmm. Oh, do we need to put the photo on the table? But that didn't work before. They changed this table. Those two don't work together. This is not going to work with this. Why not? I can give him Robert. the photo. I'm sorry, Agent. I... Oh my god. They changed this. <laughs> oh my god. Nope, that's it. Fuck. That's not right. All right, just like Rose taught me. I need to get closer. Robert. I need you to think back and look for the name of this man in the picture. I'm trying. I'm remembering the last time I met with my wife. He came up in that conversation. I just can't remember well. The details are... Uh, Robert, please try to think back to that moment. Have you ever lost someone you love, Agent? If you want to hold on to the memories for as long as you can, but they dissipate through the years. And then all you're left with are the fragments, small moments. I've tried for too long to hold on to a ghost, and it didn't get me anywhere. Now I don't want to remember. Robert, I know exactly what it is to lose someone you love. I lost my brother to a murderer, and I know what it is to chase ghosts too. But there is a real chance here that if you're right, if your wife was indeed murdered, we may find this person. So please, help us. It was the last time we met. We were at a train station. I was about to leave on a business trip, again. Sarah was sad. She didn't want me to go. She hated this town. I can't make anything out of this. My visions are too confused. Maybe I should pay Rose a visit. Are you kidding me? Robert, please stay. Don't take long. Why 
Why are there only two? Don't I have another piece? Hmm. Oh, do we need to put the photo on the table? But that didn't work before. They changed this table. Those two don't work together. This is not going to work with this. Why not? I can give him Robert. the photo. I'm sorry, Agent. I. They changed this. <laughs> oh my god. Nope, that's it. Fuck. <sighs> Hello, Rose. Hello, my dear. How are you doing, my dear? How's that case you were asking about last night? I'm having some issues with it. It's something maybe you could help me with? Tell everything to Mama Rose. I'm talking to this man. I need to help him remember something. I can see his memories, somehow. But there are pieces that are missing. Things he can't recall. People sometimes bury details. But you'd be surprised how much they can remember if pointed in the right direction. Like when the sweet smell of a bakery reminds you of mom's delicious baked goods. Hmm. Right. But how can I figure what will trigger him to remember? But you can do much more than just that. You can see what they think they have forgotten. He's a little twitchy already. If I start telling him this stuff... That is not the way to go about it. You can use your own mind to help them without pronouncing a single word. Think of it as a kind of regression. Regression? How? Is there anything in particular you want to remember, my dear? <sighs> Sometimes I wish I could go back to the time when... when my brother was killed. Oh, my dear. Are you sure this is something you want to do? It can be very damaging to your soul, a thing like that. I went to the cemetery today, and something's been bugging me ever since. I can't put my finger on what, so I'd like to try to remember. As you wish, I will be here to help you. Close your eyes. Go back to that moment, that day. Remember what happened. I can see him, but I can't quite remember. What is fuzzy to you right now? It's silly, but I can't remember the color of his jacket. What else? I don't know if he was calm or angry or sad. I can't remember. I always see him angry at me. Angry at... Try to remember what it really was, not the memory you've painted since. Tell me when you are ready, my dear.
think I got it. Now focus again. Focus on the actual regression and finish that memory you have just manipulated back into what it was. Are you okay? I'm fine. Cordelia? Who? Someone I met today. She knows you. I stole a flower from her brother's grave. <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. Who does that? What kind of a person forgets to bring flowers to her brother and steals them from another grave? <laughs> calm down, my dear. He was calm, Scotty. He had this expression on his face. He knew he would die, and he had such a calm expression for my sake. He knew I had failed. But you are still trying, my dear. And he knows that. Wherever he is, he knows that. Hello, Rose. Hello. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. Well, that cuts down the time a little bit. Okay, let's see what I can make of this. Sarah was a very beautiful woman. So sad. I can't figure out what color dress she was wearing. No, that's not... Alright, I'll figure it out. Jesus. Your wife was beautiful. Yes. She always will be. Do you remember what color dress she was wearing that day? Why are you asking me these questions? It could help you remember details. I can't remember. No, that's... No. No. Yeah, I thought it was red. No, that's... It's not red? No. Are you kidding me? That's the only choice here. Ugh. He took a picture of her. Maybe this could help trigger more memories. How can I find the time? What were you doing before you left? Did you have your cell phone with you? Did you receive any calls? I... yes. I did, and I took a picture of Sarah. What did you do after? I sent it to my sister. I don't know how this is of any help. 
Trust me, it is. Can you remember the time when you last met your wife? No, I can't. There's a text message from Karina. Hmm. What's your sister's name? Karina. I haven't seen her since... well... Did she reply to that picture you sent her? Yes. She... she commented on... She said she loved the color of the dress because it was her favorite color. What is that? Blue. Karina's favorite color is blue. It was our mother's favorite color as well. What was your wife's dress color again? Blue. It was blue. No, that's not right. It is right, you fuck. <sighs> no. Your wife was beautiful. Yes. What was your... Blue. Can you remember the... No. No. So I had to get all the memories right? How can I find the date? Do you remember the date when this happened? No, I don't. Sorry, Agent. They made a nice couple. Is this a note? Maybe I can make him remember it. Did you give her something that day? Anything? Yes, in fact I did. A note. What did the note say? I... I don't remember. It was... I saw her opening the note as the tea pulled away. What station were they at? Robert, you mentioned the last time you saw your wife was at a train station. Can you remember what station it was? Oh, gosh. I don't remember what station it was, but I do remember I took her to a Thai restaurant on Boylston Street. Her favorite place. They have the best chicken curry in town. We went to the closest station on our way back. Do you remember the name of the restaurant? Uh, no. I'm sure I could remember if I hear the name. This should help. What do we have here? What did the note say? I need to gather more info. My visions are too confused. What about the note? What did the note say? I'm sorry, Agent. No, that's... Do you remember the... No. Can you remember... No. <sighs> Your wife... Hmm, I'm missing something? 
Well, obviously, but I mean... Robert. Oh, gosh. Do you remember the name? This should help. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something. Don't take long. Well, it is kind of tedious. It, it is nice to do some, like, sort of actual detective work. It, I don't know if that makes sense. Sully? Erica? I'm having a hard time with this. Maybe if I make him remember the date and time when he last saw his wife. I don't know the time, but the recording said October the 12th. That was a Sunday. I was supposed to be at my mom's birthday that day, but I was stuck here. <laughs> that was your welcome to the life of an agent. So, if he said in the recordings that the last time he saw her was last Wednesday. You know what you have to do. Thank you, Jared. Anything you need, Erica. Hey, look at my phone. October 2008. This should help me figure out what I need. Last Wednesday was the 8th. Sully? Erica? Sully, in the tape from the interrogations, Robert mentions a note. Yeah, I heard that. I don't remember what it said, though. Maybe Davies would. She has a better memory. Yeah, but she isn't around. Where is she? <laughs> it's a shame that the tape is damaged. Maybe you can ask Terrence to restore it for you. <laughs> With everything on his plate? Wouldn't be fast enough. Maybe I have another way. What would I need to reenact that time? Excuse me? Never mind. Just thinking out loud. Thank you, Jared. Anything you... Let's see if my choices still say still stay the same. The way I can put in the date before I forget it. Cause I'm fucking not awake for this shit. <gasps> Ooh. 